Hey guys, it's Brian, and in this video, we're going to break down some more active target footage. Um, I finally got healed up from my neck surgery and was able to get out and actually had a, a good a good time, good day, uh, using active target. Um, did some screen recording, and I do want to say that I did screen recording um, on the unit, and the unit was a, an Elite 9FS, um, is what I used this time to get my screen recording. Uh, my contrast, I use about 90%, and then uh, my noise rejection is either off or on low. I have a pretty clear screen on my units. Uh, I don't know why the screen recordings are so noisy to me, but it is what it is. I can see, still see everything I want to see on the, you know, on the computer when I'm looking at the recording. So I just wanted you guys to know what I'm using, you know, kind of my settings and just go from there. Um, I hope you can learn something from this video. If you got any questions, go ahead and leave them below. Gladly answer them. Um, uh, if you got any comments, leave them below. I'd love to hear, you know, your opinions and you know, guys. Oh, one other thing. I got a tip for you guys. One thing that I've noticed from pros, all the guys who are using active target and are live scope a lot to catch fish they keep a rag with them and to keep that clean that screen clean keep the pollen off of it keep the water off of it and that actually helps you catch more fish uh, i've started keeping it in my back pocket uh there's a clip in this video you'll see it's in my back pocket but it was to keep the pollen and everything off the screen and i was allowed you know made it easier for me to see the screen and for me to be able to catch some more so with all that said guys let's get to it Little spot of potamus, little fatty sitting down there on that. You can call that. Guys, this fish is probably like 12 inches. It might be a 13 inches long, but look how fat chubs, man. This old chub sitting down there eating. Saw him sitting on a log down there. Caught him. It's pretty awesome. Ways. 
All right, guys, so this is basically the uh, active targets footage you just saw me catch that fish on. I just wanna point out some stuff. So here's my log. I haven't got really gotten, gotten over top of it yet. Uh, and actually, like I'm seeing it, but it, you know, I'm not really seeing it. I'm fishing a brush pile, you know, on the bank, way down. And then I start seeing the actual tree. I got the actual tree, I got some fish out to the side of it. So it's, it's piquing my interest, right? I'm gonna get, get myself lined up, I'm gonna get a good look at it. Uh, you know, see what I'm seeing. <clears throat> There's some fish out deep, so I'm gonna get back. And you can see one fish right there. Um, uh, my log and then there's that one fish you get back to it and I'm moving around in one fish there's another fish there's another fish so I'm thinking there's three fish there's at least two there's probably three I might have counted one fish too many there's there's one over here but that that's you know that's what I saw it wanted me to cast there because these fish are moving around and I like to see fish in groups of twos threes Seem to get them to bite better than if I could just find a lone fish, and that's just me. So right here, I'm gonna make my little cast, <clears throat> or I'm gonna line it back up. I'm gonna make my little pitch cast to those fish. And right here, I believe you're gonna see, yeah. That's where I uh, catch that fish, or that fish bites, and I catch it and roll it in. So this, this tree is awesome, and I should have marked it, and I didn't, and that's on me. <laughs> I gotta get back out there and get get everything marked but i'll show you why i think this this is awesome so here's my tree right here and what you're going to see is there's fish here there's a big blot of fish out here um again fish still in there uh these fish are roaming they're they wouldn't even hit a swim bait when i tried but there's a big fish here but it's there's a lot of fish there's still one over the brush pile right there it's just a lot of fish and Golly, look at that one. That one's a good one. Um, but yeah, so it's a great place. I've got to go mark it. So let's go ahead and go on to the next footage here and we'll break down some more. All right, guys, so here's a boulder again. Let me quit hitting stuff, but um, you see the boulder right here and there's all these little fish swimming around the boulder. Again, um, just always fascinating to see the fish reacting to those boulders and I, I, i'm pretty sure this is what they talk about up north when the smallmouth get on you know big boulders uh you hear about it some below the dams and stuff so um we're on tennessee river outside of ditto landing on wheeler lake so it's kind of a deeper area but you see that this nice boulder and then the fish just kind of moving around it um so current's gonna run this way. But it's just a, to me, it's a nice picture of the boulder. All right, All right guys, in this video, um, this is something that I found a lot of recently. I'm gonna find a stump out kind of deep in just a second there it is right there there's some fish around it you can see the fish around it even out at that's probably 60 foot but it's a stump and <clears throat> what i've been doing lately and I'll, I'll show you a clip is i've been drop shotting around these stumps and catching sauger i mean you see the fish around the stump and me thinking, hey, probably a bass or something. And then actually it ends up being sauger that I end up catching around these stumps. Uh, I found like four areas. See, I think that's a bunch of fish right there on the backside of it. And that might be where the sauger are. And the bass are over here, over here. But um, you can see like there's a, there's a fish sitting right there. You kind of see them all around it. But I've been catching sauger off these stumps and I found like three or four places like this. Uh, this is, I think this is like right at 25 foot deep. So 
Catch and Sauger. So on to the next. Sauger pattern. Oh. Keep I'll be on that sauger pattern out here with the drop shot. All right, guys. So right here, um, this is a log. I'm gonna show it to you that you can see above water. So this is actually the log and all these big school of fish up under it. And I like when we're moving, I'll point out the log in the areas. But so you see the log right there again. You see the the ton of fish that's up under it. Current is flowing this way, so that log is sitting this way against the current. So it's just a ton of fish, um, and it just depends on which way I'm looking. You know what? How much? How the fish see? So here's the top of the log right there. Like it's right up under the trailer motor. And you can see it's it's kind of that way right now. And you can see all the fish hiding basically in that current seam. And the current wasn't even really ripping this that day. Um, I think only about 10 to 12,000 cubic feet per second. But you can see how the fish just kind of line up in that current seam. I just thought it was a, a pretty cool video and wanted to show you guys so just a that's the reason you always catch fish behind logs and stuff because here's the log and then you know here's all the fish up under it they're sitting out of the current so there's the log again you can see just a ton of fish not you know i'm sure there's some bass i'm sure there's some white whites uh or whites whites and stripes but you know probably some small mouth but it's just crazy how they get out of the current i mean it's just and they just ball up and get in one spot so you can tell like why we always catch fish around logs and stuff because it just makes great current breaks all right guys so on to the next all right so this is kind of the preview for uh my next video uh you'll see it next week um and I'll link it here for when it comes out. But basically I picked up my daughter. She wanted to go fishing, she's four. So I picked her up and we went uh, we went fishing. And this is an area that I fish a lot. And um, I just, like it's just covered in fish, like just fish everywhere in this area. I, I'm not saying they're all bass at all, but I think that, you know, I got some gar um, catfish, but there are some bass because we caught them good. Um, but basically what we were doing was, so we got the, the boulders and I would toss my drop shot up here and just kind of pull them off the boulder. And like when they would fall down, I mean, they would just get thumped and it would be pretty a decent size, you know, spot. Not saying giants, but you know, like the the one that I showed earlier, it was just fat, just completely fat. I'm sure they're full of eggs, but these fish were actually eating yellow perch, um, like small yellow perch. I pulled one of one of them out of its gullet, and I had some spit them up. So it was kind of funny to see that. So they're like full of eggs, plus they're still chomping, ready to get up there. You know fattening up. But I mean, you could see some longer fish, and then some smaller fish. I mean, just the area was full of fish so so come back and check out the video uh next week uh 
And that's a good time to you know go ahead and say, guys, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. You know, if you like the video, I'm gonna do more of these because these have seemed to people seem to kind of like these, and I'm I'm trying to figure out how to do this better. I know the picture ain't great. Uh, this was actually this footage was actually taken off my Elite. Um, I think I like the HDS footage better. It seemed a little bit cl uh, crispier. I don't know. Uh, plus, I've I've also seen guys who are basically using their phone and uh, mirroring their screen and recording off that, and they get a better image. So I'm gonna try some of that next time. But go uh, go ahead and leave it, uh, hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. Uh, if you like the video, leave a like. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave them down below and I will try to answer them for you. But until then, guys, uh, until next time, stay safe, tight lines, and we'll see you on the water.